Sometimes when a child wants mom's attention, the child will take mom's face and say, Mom, look here. Today, the church does the very same thing with us. It is the feast of the exaltation of the cross. And the scriptures we normally would hear have been taken over by the ones we just heard for this feast. The church takes us to the foot of the cross and says, look here. I cannot imagine what it would have been like to have been at the feet of Jesus, at the foot of that cross. Mary must have had her heart broken beyond hope of repair as she looked up at the face of her son. The disciples wonder how they could ever go on now when their one hope had been crushed. And I wonder what people said. What would they say to Jesus as he hung there on the cross? My brothers and sisters, today the church takes our face and says, look here. Because it knows that we can't look and be unmoved. Maybe we look and in some ways our response is, gratitude for such love. Maybe we're horrified by what we see. Or maybe we look with some trepidation, realizing that anyone who loves will suffer and that we too will pay a price for love. If you were at the feet of the cross, what would you say? In just a moment, you will be given an opportunity to say what's on your heart. Because on one level, while we were not there 2,000 years ago, in word and sacrament, the church takes us there now. Time and space fall away, and in a very real way, we are right now at the very foot of the cross. And the question is, what would you say to that man there? To help us get ready for that, we'll listen to the words of what one person sang to Jesus in response to the, what he looked up at and saw at the foot of the cross then I will offer you a few of my own words. And then it will be your turn. You'll have 90 seconds. You say whatever would be in your heart to say to him then. Today, on this feast of the exaltation of the cross, the church takes our face and says, Look there. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul, to bear the dreadful curse for my soul? When I was sinking down, sinking down, sinking down, 
When I was sinking down, sinking down. When I was sinking down beneath God's righteous frown, Christ laid aside his crown for my soul, for my soul. Christ laid aside his crown for my soul. To God and to the Lamb I will sing, I will sing. To God and to the Lamb I will sing. To God and to the Lamb who is the great I am? While millions join the theme, I will sing, I will sing. While millions join the theme, I will sing. Please kneel. one person in song said to Jesus at the foot of the cross. I'll offer a few of my words and then it will be your turn. Why, Jesus? Why? Why does it have to end like this? So innocent, so true, so good, and yet you end like this. And why does it seem to so often end like this, when so many people with good hearts and good intentions end up almost where you are, abandoned? Why does it have to hurt so much? And Jesus, was it worth it? When you look down from that cross at us, what do you see? Are we worth it? What is it in you that allowed you to do that? To get past how you were treated and to forgive? Why do you love us so much? <coughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I don't appreciate as I should, this love, this wondrous love that I go so busily through my life and forget. And even more so, I am sorry for any ways I have caused your body, your people to suffer. Forgive me. And I have to tell you that standing at the foot of your cross, it's frightening to me. Because I know that in some way what love cost you will also cost us. In big ways and little, we too will be asked to die for love. 
Well, you were scared too. But you still stay true. Jesus, please give us what we need when it's hard for us and when we're scared. And we can stay true too. Jesus, I don't know how to say thank you. Thank you for being faithful to your life and to my life. I want to love like you. And I really do. I want my life to be a thank you. May I say thank you and I love you with my life. And this day, I give myself anew to you as best I can. Praying for the grace to love like you. seconds now at the foot of the cross. I invite you to remain kneeling and say to Jesus what you need to say. I ask, what would you say to this wondrous love? death I'm free I'll sing on I'll sing on and when from death I'm free I'll sing on and when from death I'm free I'll sing and joyful be and through eternity I'll sing on, I'll sing on, and through eternity 
I'll sing on. Well, hello, old buddy. Are you okay? You said you looked up at the cross, didn't you? It's, it's moving, isn't it, to see? It's hard to take in. It's kind of hard to take in, isn't it, Big Al? Question. You have a question? Well, Big Al, what's your question? No. What? Your question is, now what? Oh, Big Al, I think that's exactly the question that after we see such love, now what? Well, we'll talk about that next weekend on Stewardship Sunday. Big word. Oh, stewardship is a big word, but what it means, Big Al, is that we respond to that love with our lives. That's right. It's the right thing to do. I agree with you. Say something. You want to say something? Three things. Three things? Big Al, you want to say three things to whom? Jesus. Oh, well, Big Al, good. We, we each had a chance to say something to Jesus. You go ahead and say your things to him, too. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. That's a neat thing to say, Big Al. Love you. Love you. Oh, that's a great thing to say, Big Al. Hi. Give you me. You give him yourself. Oh, Big Al, I think that's what it's all about. Bye. Bye, old buddy. Boys and girls, I think that Big Al gets it. That is what it's all about. And I think it's important that sometimes we stop and we look up at Jesus on the cross and we remember how much he loves us. And then we say, now what? And we show him by our lives that we're thankful. We show him by our lives that we love him.